everyone. So it's been a while uh, doing build videos. So what I'm going to do is hopefully, and I say hopefully, uh, I'll know that this will work because it's just something that I can do anyway. But what we're going to do is we're going to put together a fox ear night vision kit. Uh, the reason why I'm actually quite liking this is you don't have to faff around too much uh, to get a decent quality image. Uh, I quite like it, other people are still sat on the fence whether you want an E700 KPC camera versus the Foxeer V2. I've got my own personal opinions, I'll keep them to myself because I don't want to start a riot. Now, I'm going to stick this together, it's going to be very much designed to be aimed at people A, on a budget, and B, it's also going to be very easy to put together. And when I say easy, it's going to be surprising on how easy this is. Uh, I think the worst we're going to probably have to faff around with is some heat shrink wrap and maybe a drill bit. Wow. So, without further ado, let's get cracking, let's get recording. Um, by all means, like, share, subscribe, the usual stuff. And also let me know what you think. Okay, catch you later. So, you generally get a 3.5 TFT screen. Again, the links are on the website to get one of these. Generally what happens is when you get one of these, you also get one of these. This is very much just a uh, extension cable, because uh, these are used for reversing cameras in cars. Um, I've took the bottom of one of these out, uh, it's not too difficult, it's just a little screw, you peel uh, the 3M label back and you find a little screw, but that's off for a reason. So that's that, so what we'll do is I've already done this and ended up having to cut the bloody thing out, but you end up with something like this. Uh, there's like a three-way splitter, oh sorry, two-way splitter, one for your video feed, one for your power. What you want to do, just cut behind that. I've done it in a few other videos and I might splice that video in, uh, but yeah, basically cut it off and you end up with four wires. Uh, the ones that you want to keep is, on this video it seems to be coming out as white, but oh, almost white. So you, uh, you want yellow, black, red just to recap red positive uh, your positive feed for your power supply black negative and yellow is video feed what we'll do for the time being is we'll just take our wire strippers i like strippers i do and we'll just take off essentially a few centimeters half an inch whichever way you want to do it you want to be end up with something like that what we'll do is put that to one side what I want to do is take this now this is where it's going to be personal preference and again personal preferences or how you want the kit to be mine I'm just gonna I mean this is just I can do this either way really but I'm just gonna have a small small little item coming out the back of here so I can connect a power supply up. So what we'll do is we'll just take our wire cutters, let's make it a little bit longer. Again, it doesn't matter really, but this is what it is. What we'll do is just make a little split like that. And again, I wanna take off some cable. earthquake there right. don't need that for the time being again if you want to have that longer you can do but we'll just get rid of that then what you have is this this is your foxier camera I will tell you now and I, I'm gonna to have to buy another one of these but to, to do the video but they come with the IR filter fitted and if I'm perfectly honest I had an absolute nightmare and if it wasn't for a good friend Paul Elliott helping out with his little hack and I believe uh, there was one other that I actually commented but I can't um, recall at the moment but you get the gist, it's, it, there's a, an aisle filter in there, all you need to do is you need to drop off the two screws here, take the back off, board filter comes out and then you can get a five pence piece, heat that up, uh, I used Got a soldering line there to a gas powered one, but there's other ways you can eat a blowtorch or 
you, know, you could put it on the cooker. I mean, I might try the cooker method next time, see on how that works. But essentially, you get it off. One thing to note is I needed a 27mm spanner to hold on here and some mole grips to twist off the default lens. God knows what Foxeer puts on here as a glue, but my God, it's difficult to get off. There's probably another way, or someone else might even comment of a way of actually getting that release, but I really did struggle. But that's just a heads up in advance. Anyway, with the power supply, uh, sorry, the, the connector, you end up with this part. This, this part here is to help control your uh, little joypad to change settings. I've done a little video on there, what I think of the optimised settings on there and how to do it. But again, what I want to do with this is, again, you can see that I've been playing around with this. So what we'll do is we'll just make these all equal length. Cut that off like so. And what I'll do is strip the wires like so. Oops, didn't do it. There we go. So there we go. So as we know from many, many videos, and I'm just gonna go and dummy up this. So what you want to do is you want to go all reds. This is not going to work anyway uh, as I do it. You want to go black to black, then yellow to yellow. Well, I'll, I'll put all this together anyway. I mean, you can see the build video. But essentially, that's what I want. So, all I need to do is whack a hole through the middle of this for the time being. So, take one said drill bit. If I remember right, it's an 8mm drill bit that you need, but, you know, really, it's the... Right, it's actually less than that, thinking on. Uh, you need uh, a drill bit that's literally as thick as the cable uh, that you're gonna put through. The reason why I'm using this, I might put a grommet in this. I think if I'm right, there's, I haven't got enough size grommets left, but you know, we'll see how it goes. So, and yes, this was, is gonna go into my desk, but. if it is in there. Because I'd rather have a grommet in there, but no, way too big, but you know for, for the principle you're gonna get get the gist of this. So what you want to do is you want to feed this through here initially. As you can see without grommet yeah I could probably put some glue on that if I need to. And also probably shorten these cables down. Then what I want to do is take the red wires, put these together. I also want to take the black wires and put these together. And for the, then for the next part, I'm going to leave that alone for the second and go back to this. So this is the other part of the flow past. As you can see, it's like that. What we're going to do is I, my personal preference, you've got a, can you see it there? there that's it. So that's part of the mould and you generally what I want to do is find the end of the thread. And this is where I'm probably going to punch a hole in the hand, but oh well, it'll be a blooper. And what I want to do at the bottom of the thread, and the reason being is when you tighten up the cap, you want this, oops, Oop, there you go. Put that down. Put that 
picked up later. So all you want to do is, let's take this out, oops, you can't do it. <laughs> anyway, uh, when you put that on like that, you'll see what I mean in a minute. So what I want to do is I want to thread this through here, like so. do is get some shrink wrap wherever I've filed it. Use your place on the floor. Again you can solder this up, it's no problem at all. Oops, there you go. Blooper. So what I want to do is put my shrink wrap down on the yellow one. The thing I hate about this is when you're using shrink wrap, sometimes you catch Made that just a tad too long. There we go. So we take our yellow one. You have to forgive me on this, it's so humid at the moment. I can barely hold things right. I've got little fat chip -like fingers. And they've got moist. I love, a lot of people love that word. But... Let's give that a twist. What I'll do is I'll just put that over there, like that. Now, I'm using this. Whoa, heat. You can use a cigarette lighter for this, no problem at all. So before people start saying, oh, well, he's used a solder iron. It's because I don't smoke. I smoked when I was six, it stopped my growth, and that's why I'm only five foot six. Right, again, put the slither over like that. Could have made it still too long. Be a bit better. Bring this down slightly. We're going to regret using this type of shrink wrap at the moment. Oh, no, just fits.
We all spot that one, didn't we? No one's told me to stop. You haven't put your shrink wrap on, Gav. Oops, Daisy. This one's being a bit awkward. Okay, it's not helping with my hands being all sweated up. But I do for now. So that's that. And the reason why I put the top there like that is so when you put that on there, this is a little holder I've made. If you want one, just message me. And if you're nice and share the video, etc., etc., you might even get it for free. Well, assuming that you're going to pay postage. That sits nicely. What we want to do is plug that in there. We can tuck that to one side. And I know that this is going to be upside down at the moment, actually, or the wrong way around. But the principles are going to be the same. As with pretty much all of my videos, I never do any form of rehearsing. Chuck that in there now. So let me just pause this, I'll get a power supply. Right. No, I should have brought one of these things up. Right, so what we're gonna do now is whack in your power supply. And hey presto. Um don't worry about the focus, you you faff around with that later. Um just so we're aware is I use a certain connector for my screen, but you know, that kind of gets you enough to build a night vision kit. So it's not, it's not difficult. So there you go. Thanks a lot. Bye.